What do you want me to say? Huh? I mean, some conflicts are so pointless, they just have to play themselves out. Fine. The legit Republic of Blankensburg says Pillow Town has until midnight tonight to surrender its territory. The United Forts of Pillow Town declines the request. It's not a request. I'm giving you an all tomato, meaning that you give me the whole tomato or else. Or else what? See you at midnight. Oh my god. Do people go to classes? The I deadline guess. divides friendships, families, even study groups. Pierce Hawthorne takes Troy's side, citing that Abed is weirder and more foreign. Shirley Bennett decides her allegiance in a text message to her husband. I'll be home late, sugar boots. I bet hurt Troy's feelings by being a robot. Need to stay with my boy to make sure Britta doesn't put him on the weed. Please record forensic files. Troy appoints Shirley Bennett as his second in command, at which point Pierce switches to Abed's side. There were those who thought that midnight might come and go and nothing would happen. Well, I was in Korea, and I knew the sound of crap when it was about to hit the fan. You know what it sounded like? It's Ryan Jackson. Silence. Midnight comes, and a campus holds its breath. I know there's a lot of blanket stackers and pillow packers out there thinking it's gonna go down tonight. But there's a lot of us folks from the scene in between saying, hey, we're all looking to chill out and lay down with someone special. This is Real Neil with Pipes of Steel, signing off with the smooth sounds of Daybreak. I gotta get this on film. I am straight trouncing spaz and go fish. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Don't record this. Oh, hey, come on. Wait, did you hear that? Oh my god. What the hell is that? <laughs>